Hello Aries, welcome. I'm Ryan, thanks for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. I got the three tarot should read for you as well. Thank you. Let's see what's going on. You are Aries, so you do show up today. Aries is present now. I do see that you are possibly dealing with someone. Um, it's a nice energy, it's a nice energy. I'm not gonna say what I'm thinking because the thoughts in my head want to be a little bit of a smart ass, and it's have just started, so I'm not going to listen. Um, but jumping into this Aries right away, what you're showing me. Only because you're, you're kind of showing me this energy of no nonsense, so I'll kind of, you know, match that. You're showing me there is a lot in place regarding business, career, money, finances. You've given a lot to what you do, your job, your position, your career. I feel like because you have so much that's been given to this, this is why you're kind of in this no nonsense mentality. It also kind of seems and feels like for you strategically as well as a smart business move, it almost kind of seems and feels like you want to make some sort of offer to someone to kind of work with them or collaborate with them or kind of see where things are actually going. Now, I don't exactly know who this is that you're approaching, but it definitely seems and feels like they are well experienced in something here that maybe the two of you do. So maybe this could be your, you know, your boss, your manager, someone um, a little bit higher up just to kind of, you know, point it out there, because like I said, you're presenting yourself in a different energy than them. Uh, but then it's kind of like your energy does show up a little bit later. So I kind of feel like whatever this collaborative energy is between you and someone, it's definitely for the sake of working on something. It, it feels like some sort of business plan, a new startup of some sort. Maybe it's about new work. I don't know. But whatever this is, you're kind of saying that whatever this collaborative energy is between you and them that is in the making, as well as those plans for the future about where things could ultimately go between the two of you and this collaborative energy it's interesting. You, like I said, you show me that you're working on taking yourself up to the next level and you do show up that way. So something here clearly between the two of you is paying off for you. Um, I don't know what that is, but you're kind of saying, yeah, and it's been a hell of a climb to get here, but here I am. Okay. So you're kind of raising the bar, Aries. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Aries. Oh, Aries. You're, uh... You're showing me this energy of, I was going to say, you're a dreamer. You're a dreamer. Okay, got big dreams, that's for sure. Raising the bar and got big dreams. Um, whew. Yeah, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm not too sure what that is. You're kind of showing me uh, business now, possibilities and potential later. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, what is this? You're show it's interesting. You're, you're showing me a how do I say this? 
um, relation, relationship wise, you're, you're, you're showing me that there's a difficulty in transitioning from work environment energy over to commitment relationship, like a deeper personal connection with one another. You're showing me a difficulty there. Um, it's kind of like saying everything is, you know, black and white business right now, coworker, you know, collaborative energy, like I said, um, but you're, you're kind of seeing some type of future or potential with them possibility of commitment, maybe on, you know, later on down the line. Um, but what's interesting and kind of fascinating about this dreamer energy Aries is you do show me that for some reason, it's like you, it's like you have to get something just off your chest. There, there's some sort of expression here of your truth, your emotions and your feelings that that's what the difficulty is. It's, it's a matter of like opening up, but at the same time, I do see that you are choosing to do so because you, you're showing me, you know what? I have this drive. I have this fire. I have this passion. It's like, I, I just got to say something. And that's because you have a lot of emotions and feelings for them here. You're saying we could be something. We could be so much more. We can be so great. Um, I don't know what that is be because you, you kind of show me this energy of yes, commitment is there. The desire for commitment is there. The passion, the fires for commitment is there. Um, but you also, once again, kind of lean right back over to the financial end of the situation, the relationship, business relationship to be specific. You, you lean back over to the financial of this and go, okay, well, financially speaking, this would be great for me. Um, it almost kind of seems, it feels like you're, you're in this connection or kind of, like I said, dreaming big for the sake of appearances, but we'll kind of move forward with it and go with it. Yeah, you got defensive with that one, huh? <clears throat> yeah, you got defensive with that one. Why? I get it. I get it. That's what I was kind of wondering, though. Whatever this desire is... Um, and, and, and that's what I'm talking about. Very quickly, it's like, be, was it something I said? Because very quickly, you drop it. You, you get defensive and guarded with me, and then you drop it, and you're like, fine, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's kind of like, that's what I'm talking about, though, Aries. If it was genuine, true, real, and authentic, you wouldn't have got defensive and guarded. You'd been like, yeah. Simple, simple fact. Simple as that. Like I said, simple black and white business, right? It is what it is. But you're showing me, like, this energy of you're just listening and following your instincts and you feel called to do this, so you do this. And then all of a sudden later on you have second thoughts and you're kind of like, oh shit, was that the right thing to do? Goodness, you're, like I said, you're having second thoughts on second thoughts and you're realizing maybe it's just best to kind of just leave, leave it be and leave it alone. Kind of put this behind me and just focus on, I don't know where you're going. Yeah, focus on your independence, Aries. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was kind of saying. Focus on your independence. In a sense, focus on yourself. It's interesting. It's like I'm, I'm reading your dreams and I'm reading your thoughts and your desires now. Um, reminds me of that television show, Lucifer. What are your deepest desires? And there's the devil on top of the deck. So, of course, if you are dealing with anyone, Aries, you could be dealing with the fire sign, an earth sign, an air sign, or a water sign. They're all here. Goodbye.